All right, welcome everybody to another Power Comics book club. Uh, I am Evan Husney, joined uh, by Benjamin Mara and Gabe Deichel. What's going on, guys? What's up? Not much. We're doing, psyched. Uh, psyched to talk about Lance. La- Lance hype. Lance hype. Um, I've been I've been waiting for this hype. day. Been waiting for this day for so long, Ev. <laughs> this is like your favorite one, right? This is, is one this, of them. This is like your this top is there. This yeah. is up there for me. Easily top yeah. three, maybe top two. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, oh, yeah. Man. Lance Stanton, the wayward warrior. Um, we're going to dive into this episode. This episode. We're going to dive into this issue. I got Lance Stanton uh, for this <laughs> uh, on this episode. Um, but first, something really quick I wanted to plug. Uh, if you are watching this on YouTube and you have not subscribed yet uh, to the Power Comics YouTube channel, shame on you. Please, shame. shame uh, please subscribe now because once we hit 500, which I think is a very humble number, uh, once we do that, we're going to do this. We're going to look at this monster. Um, we're going to do that live uh, on YouTube Live. We're going to, you know, f- check out your comments, comment live. We're going to, you know, scream at you. You can scream at us and uh, uh, appreciate and this. Guys, thing. we're terrified to review this comic. We're so scared. So if we hit 500, <laughs> we got to crack it. And I don't yeah. want to. I don't know about you guys, but yeah, the return right. of Jontar. I mean, look at this. Scary. Look at the back. I mean, the Ooh. back. Oh man! If you want to see a, what's going that's on, a back cover. It is a back cover. If you want to see what's going on in this issue, subscribe. That's a please. back piece. That's if we get five hundred thousand, I'm yeah. getting that tattooed on my back. <laughs> Amazing. Second of all, before we dig into Lance Stanton, um, but it is Lance Stanton related. Um, Mm -hmm. I have some, I did some Lance Stanton homework. I went deep into this and I found out some shit that's going to blow your guys' mind. I cannot wait to tell you about it, but let's go in cold. Let's look at this as if, you know, this just dropped out of the sky, you know, it just dropped out of the sky. It appeared here. We don't know what we're looking at. And then I'm going to give you the full backstory on Lance Stanton, Wayward Warrior at the end of the video. Does that sound right? Mm -hmm. Sounds fantastic. Now, the first thing we should look at when we're talking Lance Stanton here, um, I think is is to look at the publisher, Hammock Publications. Um, Hammock is responsible for Lance Stanton and one of our other favorite underappreciated, probably the most unloved comic of all time. Is that fair to say, Gabe? Unloved in its, in its own creation by the <laughs> artist. <laughs> which is Kendar the Creon Warrior. Nothing nothing is just this is the most maybe most downtrodden comic mm-hmm. I've ever looked at, but I love it. And um this is it, man. This is Power Comics to me. Both of that these hand in hand. Perfect. Is this is why we're here. We we don't want to see comics about, you know, like, you know, Marvel guy, you know, like superhero, you know corporate comics property. yeah no 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 i want to see something about whatever the fuck this is and what's going on here <laughs> um kendar the crown warrior lance stanton this is a great duo i highly this is a, these go these pair really well together great double feature mm-hmm. um, two pillars two pillars comics. we're gonna do kendar on another day because i think kendar deserves its own day oh um, my god yeah uh so we're gonna look at that but i just wanted to bring that in here as a nice introduction to lance but Guys, you, we all love it. We've all read it many times. Give us, before we crack this open, let's talk about the cover. Let's talk about the ish. What do you have to say? It's the perfect cover. I mean, yeah, I agree. is this guy who lances, are they both actually wearing pajamas? <laughs> like loose fitting pajamas or is it just? Tight fitting pajamas. Well, tight and loose. Like what is <laughs> happening with his but oh i love this cover this is an incredible cover really dynamic it really yep. just when what is his weapon what does yeah. lance have a lot of yeah. a lot of questions on this cover i but the there is without a doubt you know who this comic is about it's about lance stanton and <laughs> yes. it is demonstrated with this really with stellar yeah forceful uh logo you know um i love the all white you know yeah field Me too. uh and then just lance stanton punching through somebody <laughs> uh that's a that's a great like you know I'm, sign me up i'm opening up this book and reading yeah it, no matter what mm-hmm. you know absolutely so. i love also wayward you can just... wayward warrior yeah I was way... gonna say, yeah well, he's definitely so invocative right there 
a Evocative. wayward warrior. And also, I, I love just, you know, you can see the brushing here and, you know, mm. it's the, the, the loose uh, hand-drawn uh, yeah, title. Yes. Like, that's a huge Power Comics thing. It's just how loose you everything see, yeah. is. You love to see the evidence of, like, a hand, human hand yeah. Uh, yeah. Dry, yeah. on the dry, page. Dry marker printing is a big Power Comic. Yeah. yeah. You, you can want to yeah. just, you can smell Stable. the Cheetos on the fingers that were <laughs> utilized in uh, putting this together. Um Anyway, let's crack it open. Um, oh my God! Uh, Ooh, okay, it's, it's hard. I know. I'm getting there. It's hard not to be distracted by this. So it's like I almost want to do this. <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, so I'm just gonna hide this real quick, and right. let's concentrate on the intro letter because the intro letter <laughs> is um, is amazing. And all the Power Comics, if you've watched any of our episodes before, they all have the intro letter, which you know bears the soul. The true mm -hmm. soul of the person. Um, and boy, this is a good one. This is a really yeah. good one. Okay. I mean, true soul, unconsciously or consciously. like they, right. they, they, they reveal things about the character that they're not intending, I, I would say. Right, here. Oh, sorry, I need to take a drink. Okay. Um, about the character of the creator. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Um, okay, so my name is Dave Bamford. I'm 30 years old. That's old for in Power Comics years, is it not? Way old. That's like, uh, yeah, yeah, like that's like the more... twice 20, 20, 20 years easy over. Mm -hmm. the <laughs> They're usually retired. Age. They're retired yeah. by yeah. 22. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've realized that, you know, when I try to figure out what is a power comic, it really is just a comic drawn by a 15 year old is really. What <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Um, OK, so I'm 30 years old and have an interest in comics in seventh grade. Cool. A friend of mine was really into comics, so naturally I got sucked in. Of course, it's all, uh, it's, that's naturally. always the, the 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 cadence of these is like a blah 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 blah. You know. No. Um, well, eventually we went our separate ways, and I wound up in New York City. While in New York, I had a once in a lifetime opportunity to attend a forty week workshop. Keep that in mind while we go through this comic. Yeah, yeah, that is immersion, full immersion, forty weeks workshop in a comic. In comic art that was put together and taught by none other than John Buscema. Oh, if that name insane. doesn't mean, you know, it, it Absolutely insane that this man was in the presence of John Buscema for 40 weeks. <laughs> if that name does not ring a bell, please proceed to the back of the class. Up until that time, up until that time, the drawings that I did were the products of a self-taught artist. What Mr. Buscema was able to do with me was to steer me in the right direction in a number of areas and little inside tips that only a seasoned pro would know. If I achieve anything at all in this endeavor, I wish to publicly acknowledge that I was given a firm foundation by him. Okay, great. Now here's the big reveal. God, that is, I'm sorry, that is so insane. <laughs> it is, but wait. Listen, kid, listen. His yeah. body's not lumpy enough. <laughs> you gotta give him more lumps. No, no, you no, got no, no. It. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh my God! That's give like, him a Walla. stick. Yeah. Give him a stick to hit him with. He should have a weird little thing, contrap lance contraption thing that springs out of his back. You know, his scrambled eggs back. Um, anyway, uh, this is this is the key, everyone. This is the key. And now, some thirteen years later, thirteen Ooh. years later, I've decided to go for it. Now that to me is power comics, and this is a unique one because. Like we said, if you're a 15-year-old drawing power comics, you're making power comics, right? But if you were mm. taught how to draw comics, but then you didn't make one for 13 to 15 years later, power comics. Yes. Right. So you've lost all you've not re, there's no there's no retention. And so right. now you're now you're untrained again, which is great. I love it. That's that's singular. Hey. For, Dave or, could have been in a coma. We don't know. <laughs> right. Yeah, the tra the training the training like pauses for 13 years and then they pick up right, right where they left off yeah a coma i think um, dave i think in the 13 years dave became a millionaire super successful businessman <laughs> and is in his retired. private study right thinking lance <laughs> so that means that he was yeah he was 17 when he did that he started when yeah he man 40 week seminar um wow. so the results are in your hands i hope you like it and yes we do yes we do wow. Yeah, hundred um, percent. Uh, ben, I think real quick before we look at this, uh, before we look at this man here, um, the logo. Oh what's yeah, going <laughs> what's going on with the logo? I mean, you can read the word hammock, I guess, but 
it is uh, as an illustration or logo design indecipherable. Unbelievable. Um, yeah. yeah. And I mean, I can't help but stare at it, but gave that a good comment that it, it looks like, you know, the logo to a fantasy bookstore. Yeah. You know, from like the <laughs> 1968 or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, totally. Hamilton McNaughton publication. Yeah. So off the back, we can see story James McNaughton. So he's but, part of that publishing duo there. Yeah. Ha Hamilton McNaughton, guys. Ham mm -hmm. Mac. Yeah. There you go. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, no. Um, all right. Anyway, so there you have it. Waterville, Maine. This is from Maine, everybody. So mm. mark your Power Comics uh, US maps. We have one <laughs> in Maine. Um, Love Maine. So off the top here, we're seeing this character, Lord Cragen. Uh, great oh, names. Great names in this. <laughs> Lord Cragen. Um, very like, and I'm getting Kirby vibes just from the just from the, 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 the perspective and the technology here. Um, am I, am I, am I right on with that? Am I an amateur? Yeah. What's going on? No, you're right on. I love the ceiling. Just, yes. It, it just looks great. Yeah. Um, the whole page looks awesome. I mean, that's, this is a splash page. Yeah, it's man, great. this is incredible. Great power, power, everyone, power page. everyone in this comic looks like they're wearing Lululemon yoga <laughs> wear. Uh, guys oh, like man. Lycra pants. Yeah. This, uh, the, this, the setting is incredible. Like, I yeah. mean. This is so cool. You could see where uh, where the teaching came in. You know, you, yeah. you really yeah. This guy totally. loves weird loves comics. It. I love it. Yeah. So instantaneously, um, Lord Craigun uh, demands to see Lance Stanton, and is mm -hmm. telling this underling here to go fetch him. Let's let's keep it moving here. Um. And uh, okay, I'm gonna go get him, and then he's like. I must know what Friedman is planning. Stanton is the only man I can trust to get me that information about Friedman. It's 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 like like a lot of things in Lance Stanton. There's a lot of inconsistencies with spelling and mm -hmm. head shape, head size, mm -hmm. and, Just, and yeah, anatomy, anatomy, for sure. and um and but anyway, it's like, Friedman is the you know what it is. It's like his um sort of anatomy doll that he was using to like draw from was like a stretch armstrong that was kind of like <laughs> totally. it had like no <laughs> discernible no discernible joints or yeah. discern I, I i was gonna say vac man is that too like obscure <laughs> reference there you go do you remember I that no vac man vac man was stretch armstrong's foil he was the oh and then you would like pump his head up and then he would get all like <laughs> really tight and that's what a lot of this looks like to me. It's so funny you said yeah. Stretch Armstrong because I said this is Vacman. It's, it's got that vibe. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. everybody like, looks really like bendy and like really. Yeah, bendy. this Everyone's... art is incredible. It's great. I mean, it's like I yellow... want that door. Whatever that door is, yes. I want to put that in my apartment. I know it's incredible. This panel is incredible. This tiny little arm, and I was just also going to say <laughs> this whole like stance. this whole stance is amazing. I love yeah. it. I love corridors. Lance's and... stance. <laughs> The stances in Lance Stanton. Lance are, stance. Uh, That's your vocal stance. warm up. The stances <laughs> yeah. in Lance Stanton are good. <laughs> anyway, so uh, you know, Lord Cragen wants to see you, so he's like, you know, target practicing. All right, then yeah. let's go. Oh, so fucking great cool. intro image of Lance Stanton. Yeah, it totally, really is. totally. Yeah, which, which is that odd. panel bubble above his head. They didn't want to intersect his head. It's right. so precious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's got his own little hat. Um, and, uh, uh, I also just, I just love this too. Just like the dialogue list. Like, yeah, talk, like, that no, is so cool. Amazing. No art, small man. Talk, it's no really small great. Talk, amazing. <clears throat> so then Lance gets into the, into the chambers of Lord Craig in here. And, uh, he's like, I got a job for you, man. I, you know, the only person I could trust. Um, and I, I need you to find this traitor by the name of Friedman. And, uh, you need to bring him to me and figure out and, you know, get rid of him, terminate him. Okay. Fair enough. So then. Um, who's this man and where will I find him? And then they kind of explain this idea of the wastelands. And it, it looks like that Lance has never stepped outside of this, of this compound. He's grown up here. He's never been out in the outdoors. So he's like, I'm worried that the, the elements are going to affect me. And he's like, no, no, no. Lance is, Lance is like Siddhartha in that way. <laughs> Little prince in his palace about to venture out. 
Totally. And then um, he's like, all right, I'm going to do it, uh, you know, and I, I'm not going to be uh, I'm not going to be susceptible to the elements because I'm under, you know, your control, your guidance. And uh, then we see here as he's reading his journey, incredible stance. And so I mean, great. I just I don't know how the land stance. The land stance and this here is... The stance. The land stance is incredible, man. <laughs> Everyone here is weightless, kind of, even though they're so muscly. It's like yeah. it's like everyone's made out of, like, has gelatin bones, like, with mm -hmm. scrambled eggs wrapped around them. <laughs> it's like the way that they're all put together. <laughs> I mean, this next page is the trippiest, most insane it. thing I've ever seen. Every, yeah, it is, like, <laughs> a total acid trip, this whole mm -hmm. comic. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, and it's interesting because once you – I love how everything here is very tight, stilted when we're in the compound. When we get out mm -hmm. of the compound, things start to get wobbly, man. And mm -hmm. <laughs> what I like about it is is that, like, yeah, a lot of the walls are, like, whoa. And, like, you know, a lot of the – like, cars are, like, tripped out. So Oh, anyway, the cars in this are insane. Best car in any power comic. But anyway, um, so then, you know, he's basically just on this amazing little – transport here to get like him to the trolley old, rail trolley. trolley yeah which is great great I, if the whole comic took place on this rail trolley i'd be totally happy yeah i want to go on this like monorail ride yeah at lance stanton land <laughs> <laughs> all right uh moving on, he reaches the doors of the of the of, into the wasteland great opening vista of the wasteland. so yeah. fucking good great welcome to the wastelands and then it's amazing. As soon as he's here, he's like, all right, I'm ready to start my journey. But who the fuck are these two, you know, are these three, you know, mm -hmm. losers? He's like, I don't need those losers. I'm fucking Lance Staten. And then, of course, like, <laughs> this one guy's like, all right, Lance, let's see what you got, you know. And, like, you know, yeah. and, um, and, and, they, and they immediately get into this, this, this amazing but pointless fight. Um, before I flip to that, anything of note here that's worth chatting about or? I mean, where do, where do I begin? Amazing. Chains. Chains. Why does he have big chains on his neck? That's his, that's, that's his accessory. That's Craig and... Yeah. He's that's got a oh, that's his big necklace. That's, that's right. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why does he have chains? <laughs> uh, no, that, yeah. Just more amazing anatomy and yeah. lobby goodness. Love the, f the finger pointing in that bottom yes. of the page. Oh, yeah, yeah. Page. Yep, yep. Love the just the wobbliness of the door. Like, look at this wall. So, oh, so trippy. Really yeah. trippy. Really trippy. All right. Then this fight breaks out between Lance and this underling. And Lance obviously destroys him. I mean, KOs. Of course, KOs. Um, and then it's like, yeah, Lance, you must learn to be more patient. You need two guides. And it's whole thing about, like, I can do this on my own. But these guys know the wastelands. Come on, Lance. Yeah. They know where they're going. Let them take I think you. I think Lance might be like 15 years old. <laughs> He's like an angsty teenager. Yeah, totally. Well, there's a little interesting kind of reference to that a little later on, um, which we'll get to, um, which you might have forgotten. But anyway, uh, then, of course, we get to this just this mobile. This oh Lance mobile is what this are we talking about? This is the most adolescent. I mean, I love it. I don't want to I don't want to punch down, but. This is the most like, like first grade doodle <laughs> car I've ever seen. It's unreal. Yeah. And when and, yeah, go I ahead. I love ben. that it was basically just taking yeah that side profile we see at the bottom right on the right hand page. Yeah. And just like that's like the initial concept sketch, and then just yeah. they just rotated it three dimensionally. And, yeah. I just how do I? Do it in perspective now. Right. I'm gonna extrude it. Out. Yeah, he's like, it's almost like he drew the car and then and then like committed to it. And he's like, fuck, why did I commit to this stupid <laughs> car? Because like every time you see it in the comic, it's either like you know ten feet longer in one direction or mm. which I you know hey I, I don't want to I I love that I don't want to talk shit. No, yeah. but what's amazing is that it's also in that top panel. Mm -hmm. He 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 illustrated to to show that it was floating. It has shadows above the wheels. Like yeah. that's like not he, that's, true. that's actual like yeah. good articulation in that way, which is so weird. That's what <laughs> I love about these comics. They're like really embracing these like bizarre you know, basic rudimentary stuff, but they're doing it. Like they're actually 
it's not a scribble, you know? No. No, it's thought out. It's 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 yeah. it's very I think everything is just a little too thought out. It's almost like, whoa, take mm-hmm. one step back a little, you know, a bit. But I love it. Um so anyway, they're like pull up you know, Lance has a six oh I love this too, just this like silent don't bother me. I'm on a mission. He's mm-hmm. like, so uh, you don't talk much, do you? You know, and he's just like, <laughs> just like brooding, brooding here. Great Lance face. Love that um, panel. It's a great panel to have in this comic. Oh my god! Awkward it's silence in the weird car. Totally. And then he's like, pull over, pull over now. And they're like, what? Really? Okay. Uh, okay, Lance. Sure. And he, you know, he's got like a sixth sense about some danger mm-hmm. is imminent. So, oh, oh wait, hold on. Sorry. He goes, what's up? And he's like. Get, he's like, get your blaster ready. We're about to be attacked. He's like, are you kidding? No, I'm not kidding. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Incredible. Fantastic page. Absolutely. I know. It, like, such like heavy metal, fucking awesome action. And then, but there's like a Fisher Price mobile that they're <laughs> totally. <jumping over. laughs> totally. Totally. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> It's so, what an incredible page, though. How awesome. cool is that? That sky is amazing. amazing. It's awesome. Yeah, so good. And I just obviously like Ugh. the way his leg is bending. I don't know how he plans to get out of that car like that. I have no idea. Yeah, that's a recipe for falling on your ass right there. But I think his ass cheeks are spread across that little <laughs> ridge as he's getting out. Perfectly. Yeah. Um, but amazing. Um, and yeah, just I love it's. Oh my about. god, this next. Yes, Age. I know. Oh. And then, of course, we cut to guy with pigtails and blaster tripod gun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not what I would have imagined, but okay. No. Um, everything, everything's like kind of over underwhelming in a lot of ways mm. like the design of the car is not badass you know mm-hmm, yeah. it looks Dorky. like yeah like fisher price yeah. this guy who is shooting this gun does not look like a real threat no other than the <laughs> fact that he's like shooting this gun he's like i guess i'll shoot that like it's like total like <laughs> yeah. apathetic like okay. mm-hmm. yeah like i want to put a disclaimer that i probably couldn't do a better job drawing a comic of these guys. This guy has two broken legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's those like types it of though. decisions where it's like you wouldn't think to like draw a guy with two broken no, legs. No, you're like, this makes mm-hmm. sense. This is cool. Yeah. So um anyway, uh then he pulls out his blaster and the dude's like, you're never gonna make that shot. And then of course da-da-da, he does and <laughs> um amazing uh yeah right really genuinely great um yeah uh uh drawing there of uh pigtail boy getting everything in this comic is like really clear it's very unusual Mm -hmm. for our comic the story might be like really strange and like yeah you know the way the characters act and behave is Mm -hmm. you know juvenile or whatever but the every you understand everything that's going on pretty much that is very true little confusion it's so, like, perfect. I can't even believe what I'm looking at. It's yeah. so good. I mean, yeah. it's just... It is. It's, it's so singular in its vision. It's more like a painting than it is a comic book. It's yeah, unreal. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, very... Yeah, totally. And um, Lance now firing at the other guy. He gets the shot right. But then there's this oh. crazy man here who appears out of the... <laughs> who's a great character, and he appears out of the out of the rocks there. Um, and he's like, well, I guess that was the last renegade. Nope. <laughs> I know. And nope. Lance and his like, love, bloated that hands. Guy. That guy's toe just standing on the rock, you know, yep. just like, you know, just chilling out. Like, like, yep, just well, I guess... place my toe right on here. So yeah. That's You're just, right, Ben. It's like bit. every single prop in this comic is the most like basic way <laughs> It's like they're icons, you know. They're yeah. like mm-hmm. the, the his knives are like just the most basic Emoji. ideation of yeah. like what a knife in a hand would be, or like the yeah. car or everything. It's but yeah. then you have the most insane. Everything else is just pure. The total, the total overall feeling that you get from the from the comic is not basic in no. any way. Uh, no, you know what I mean. But then again, he has a tube strap to his back, right? Right, now. exactly. Yeah, <laughs> like everything in the comic is like very rudimentary, very is this basic, the, is very this the lumpy. First, very lumpy. 
yeah. yeah. Very lovely. I think that Most... might be the first the first indication of that tube, yeah. Yeah, yeah this what is the first in there. This is the tube debut and it's his then... granola pouch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's desert granola rations. <laughs> it's yogurt. Um okay, um <laughs> here we go. Oh wow oh my God. incredible Dude. incredible hudson get down um and then of course amazing you know shot here the yep. guy takes in the face with the bat um oh, and then this is face this is whole amazing. spread so here this whole spread's really good the whole thing is really good what i, I think of, that okay. honestly evan if there is any power comic that i would want the original art from it would be Lance Stanton. I and don't announce that to, here. We'd have, we'd have to fight <laughs> over that. <laughs> and we will. I will throw two knives at you. <laughs> um, what manner of man are you? For 20 years I have roamed these wastelands. I have fought and killed hundreds of men. But I've never seen such a display of skill with a simple sidearm. I will do you an honor. Tell me your name before I kill you. And then, oh. and then Lance fires back. That is a rather dubious honor. Um... <laughs> Again, Lance, Lance, Lance Stanton's a lot like Walker, Texas Ranger, where like <laughs> everybody that is friends with Walker, everybody that opposes Walker, all sing his praises to his face right. all the time. Right. And he always backs it up. Lucky man. <laughs> and then uh, he like starts to tell him his backstory. He's like, ah, eh, I, I don't care. Uh, I'm going to throw these two knives at you. And then he and he throws the two knives amazing i mean come on and so good and they're coming towards lance cliffhanger here as we turn the page wow what yeah. an amazing oh. like what we're cutting to this you know yeah. but also like this is an amazing obviously very kirby but like spread yeah. of just an inner monologue like you yes. wouldn't do this like uh, you wouldn't do this for page two and three you're gonna do this in the middle of the comic when the guy's like yeah. hmm what if I lose Lance Stanton? You know, that's that's <laughs> yeah, what it is. Yeah, yeah. And he's and he's starting to have doubts about Lance while like, you know, doing his bit bit borp borp stuff in this room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I you know? know. It's just like this is it really is a diary for for this artist who like knowing the psychology behind it, him thirteen, what is it, seventeen, thirteen years later? Yeah, thirteen. He's like, years I later. gotta I gotta have this I gotta it, show him. Yeah, gotta, gotta show him my skills. Show him. Yeah, I think I think that this is this is probably one of the lessons he retained from Yusima. Oh, no, right? yeah, man. It was like, you know, show the place that these characters, you know, operate in, and oh yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. and it, totally. you know, just give them like a background. Like, don't skip on these backgrounds. He does not in this. No shot. Mm -hmm. Not at all. So. Uh, Stanton is perfectly trained and loyal to a fault, and yet I feel I will lose him somehow. So some doubt here from Lord Cragen in the middle of his computer chamber. Lord um, Cragen is a mystery. Total mystery. He really is. Total weird mystery. But his name, Lord Cragen, reminds me of that bit on The Office where uh, Dwight is being uh, asked what the name of his dentist is when he uses it, going to the dentist as an excuse, <laughs> and he says, my dentist's name is Crentist. <laughs> this is like Craigan, Reagan. Yeah, it's so but, weird. Again, power comic nomenclature is yeah. it's, its own special little thing. <laughs> it has to be as spazzy as possible um, when Naming you're coming up with your names. Yeah, and, and it's also like, you know, is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? He's a lord, and he's got like a right. skull medallion. So is yep. Lance a bad guy? Are the like is he actually attacking the disenfranchised in the wastelands? I don't know. It's um, yeah, it's yeah. It's great. <laughs> he's a, he's a mystery. You, de you definitely don't leave, know. You definitely don't. Yeah, aren't sure about what his uh, deal is. His, I mean, like, yeah, I I want to say he's good, but how could you be good with that insane, scary medallion around your neck? I know you're wearing constantly. I know, and then starting. Yeah. Well, anyway, we'll we're gonna get to a little more of the inner emotions of Lord Craig in here soon. But first, <laughs> back to the action. Oh, no, not yet. Uh, <laughs> we're still waiting for those. We're still oh, waiting God. for those daggers to be thrown. Um, but before we do, we have this amazing inner monologue from Lord Craig in here where he talks about, I can't shake this feeling. It's almost as I have forgotten something as I approach 
Uh, I must have approached this in a rational manner. First, the element of danger. I have trained Lance in various disciplines of the martial arts and military strategy. Save for myself, he is indeed without equal. He has a quick, finely disciplined mind that wait. Now, here we go. That is the problem. Mm -hmm. I have put so much credence in his intellectual training that I have neglected his emotional needs. So, wow. Amen, he, dude. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Of course, I have his loyalty. Of course, I have his loyalty. But do I have his heart? And clearly oh, we can see that his heart is bigger than his head in this drive. This is a complicated relationship, you guys. <laughs> it is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah. If he should turn from the higher order, he will be dealt with as an enemy. As all who would stand against us, he too will perish. So, again, what's going on here? I don't know, but... Did he did he did he de fully develop Lance Stanton's emotional center well enough? We don't know. Meanwhile, and I love I love that he's standing there thinking this, just palms yeah. outstretched, fists to the sky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's awkward totally. pose. It's amazing with his tiny little head. Um, <clears throat> and uh, but now let's rejoin Lance, as it says. And now, of course, with ease, Lance has grabbed the both daggers. And uh, and then of course he sends him right back. Amazing! I love this great, too. Great move! Great move! I know. Great panel. He's awesome. Totally amazing. Did he? Now, is he catching the blades in between his fingers? Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> so good. So, so good. good. So good. I wish that was a little <laughs> bit of like a close up on the mm. hand. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Agreed. Yeah. yeah. Totally. All right. Moving on. <clears throat> And before oh, the stunned renegade leader can react, and then of course the blades go into the other um, henchmen of this uh, uh, wasteland man. Um, curse you, Stanton! I'll cut your heart out for this. Great bloody <laughs> this knife. Wasteland hippies. Amazing. Wasteland hippies is what it is. <laughs> totally wasteland hippies. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I'll mingle your blood with his. And then Stanton pushes his little button. Now this here's your close up that you wanted. Mm. Yeah, I love it. Beep. And then his little tube opens up, and out comes I don't know, guys. I one I, of the one of the top power comic weapons. Yeah, the, power the, weapon. the only the only like thought out piece of equipment in this whole comic. Yeah, Where we need to do like, the counterweight on it and yeah. like a half moon blade. I mean, he's he thought about this one and then just gave up on everything else. Yeah, <laughs> we need to do a top ten weapons video That's uh, a great at some idea. point. Top 10 weapons needs to be a, <laughs> a video. Yeah. Um, I think we already spoiled it, though. This is <laughs> vying for the top position. Yeah. That's okay. But I got to know oh. what 2 through 10 is. All right. Yeah, I want to know what 10 is. Okay. <clears throat> um, and then again, uh, uh. we have this amazing fight scene here. Uh, not else must, is, needs to be said here other than, you know, he, he slices his hand off um, through, through yeah, his I wrist. I was surprised mm -hmm. by this because I thought that this bad guy was going to stick around. Mm. But nope. Very violent too. Um, mm. for just like kind of how cartoony everything is, and he's like cutting off his wrist. It's so like, good. It's like all right, and awesome. Bashing his head in. It's like oh yeah, really, really great. And then, <clears throat> and then we see him packing it up. The best. The best. <laughs> yes. <laughs> bloop, 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 bloop. You know, he has to like, remove mm. his backpack to <laughs> mush it all back in. <laughs> It's really amazing, and then you know, again, he's and then he takes care of his uh, the guy that was hit over the head with a baseball bat, and I, mm. I just love how it says here, uh, Stanton tends to his wound and makes sure he is kept warm until he <laughs> <laughs> until <laughs> until help he radioed for arrives. So I don't know what Lord warm. Cragen is talking about with this emotional exactly you know, disability. Right. That's why I think he's a heel, a uh, Lord Cragen. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I don't get it. Um. Anyway, moving on. Oh! oh Beefcake oh, shot. God. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Oh, my God. It's so good. <laughs> this is actually... This is the actual two pages here for many different reasons. One is I love him standing there assessing everything with this weird, curdly rock. That's a, is that a grave? It's, a, it's like the cairn. It's like a Karen, or it's or it's like a yeah, like a payday, a giant payday candy bar. Mm. Um, <laughs> um, and then and then these dialogueless panels here, are picking up the radio, is oh, great. I know. I don't even know what I'm looking at here. This is kind of abstract art. Yeah. What? So, 
two I don't know what that is. cars driving I'm away. Really sure, yeah. I oh, that's a helmet. Know. It might be a yeah. helmet in oh, the car. Oh, it's the guy's helmet. It's the guy's oh, helmet. I love it. Still, though, very, like, you know, moody. Moody. Yeah. Moody, oh, my uh, God. Edit there. The moodiest. Moodiest. And then... um. I love this too. You know, he's he's like, uh, like I'm gonna continue my mission even though I don't have my guides. You know, it's it's all me now, which I love. Um, and then and then this little like Jetsons doodle. <laughs> yeah. So of the car of like a bleep, 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 of the car going away with this little like <laughs> snout, <laughs> oh. doggy snout nose. What's that? Um, What's that uh, video game like Moon? Moon. Like Moon. Uh, moon Patrol. Oh. Where you're just mm. like a car, and you're like bouncing around. It's, yeah, it has it's a moon such patrol a feel. doodle. How it's, dare he just doodle in his own comic book? I know he doodled in his own comic book with his little, little <laughs> puppy puppy dog nose car. Um, and then I love the I love the shot of him sleeping in the tent though. He makes oh, up for it. Beautiful. That's like <clears> such <throat> a incredible. That it's one so of the more underrated yes. panels in this is just it's so good. Again, and why I think it's more like a painting. <laughs> I know. A series of paintings and it is a comic <laughs> book. Yeah. It's like Kurosawa Ron. <clears throat> but it's oh, also like man. face down, like like face down sleeping with the arm out and the gun. <laughs> so good. And then I mean, I, I we could spend an hour just on this here. Oh man. Yeah. Of just Fantastic. absolutely a unit. This is it. This is the <laughs> this is the money shot right here. Yeah. Love it. Harry. Yeah, really bringing it. Bringing it with the hair, bringing it with the scrambled eggs, bringing it with the lumpy. I it's mean, great. it's this, unbelievable. This really is the Stretch Armstrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love the uh, the uh, screen tone in the background yeah. too to like kind of push it's the like figure forward. It's Tom cool. of Finland, all, Tom of Fartland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here! All right, um, <clears throat> moving on. Oh, just keep the hits keep oh on my coming. Oh God! The best drawing of the car today. I yeah. can't. I cannot. This and the next page with like this just fucking. Yeah. What is that? This is the most insane <laughs> comic book of all time. It is, and it's starting. Things are getting wobbly now. Like, this, is, like, this, yeah. is, this is where it feels like the art is like starting to like. Yeah drift this a little is, bit it's starting to lose is, its integrity a little bit you know it is he's like he's like i gotta finish it he's, yeah I've been he's up. definitely he's peaking right now and it's <laughs> having such a hard time no, with everything yeah. he's, pe he's peaking on he's peak robo tripping right now trying to like <laughs> get this all down on paper um but yeah un unbelievable the car is amazing the wall so trippy wall. so amazing oh my god the piece of the car that's here and possibly that's the best um, yeah this just like yeah. poking out yeah yeah <laughs> um and then he hears something and he looks behind this wall and what does he find he finds oh. this lady who is uh tussling with some ro amazing robots actually the design and these are pretty awesome uh yeah. i think guys mm -hmm. and oh my god I can but do Right. But what's so interesting about this is gets into the psychology of Lance Stanton and probably the 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 illustrator author is that he immediately starts to get his masculinity gets threatened instantaneously mm. ah. and becomes jealous by the fact that that uh, she's destroying these robots. Mm. And he's like, you know, she 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 hits slices this guy. Um, but then it keeps saying in the narration, it keeps saying, her statement of just like, well, I'll start with you. Her statement hits Lance like a cold slap in the face. It embarrasses him. Now wow. that's weird. And Mr. Stanton does not like to be embarrassed, says the narrator. So wow. he's so weird. So his masculinity is being threatened by this woman who's kicking ass here. So weird. I, yeah. I don't even know what to do with that. <laughs> and then <laughs> that's like so really, I mean, yeah. That's I don't pretty know. dark, Evan. Good, good insight. <laughs> Power misogyny, um, and mm -hmm. then, and then we go here to, oh, yeah. Now, now he just shot. unbelievable, yes, baby, punching through the robot, and then he decides to even downplay it to her more, and it's like those robots were hardly a threat. They were slow and flimsy, probably used for some intimidation only. And then she's like, "Wait a minute, hardly a threat? What are you talking about?" Um, I still want to thank you, but, um, you know, like, still, like, wh what's your problem, dude? You know? Mm -hmm. Which is yeah. so weird. And then, of course, the ground shakes. 
big robot guy is our cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. But of course, of course, there's a big monster cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is so good. But uh, I thought that was revealing about the the monster. Yeah, I mean, um, Lance Denton. Yeah, I wonder if they're just trying to create some kind of like sexual tension, but don't know. There's nothing sexual about that. I mean, are you kidding me? Did you not see that his cum gutters on that last page? <laughs> and and look, like look, he has his little little tube basket, and she has her mm-hmm. own little tube basket. So mm-hmm. right. <laughs> maybe it's very they're Freudian. Meant, they're yeah, they're meant, <laughs> meant for each other. Um, and then of course, Lance Stanton just fucking just absolutely taunts the shit out of us. Yeah. With this amazing T-shirt, ah! that uh, I, I was saying to you that if we print this shirt, it has to have this insane black outline going around the <laughs> perimeter <laughs> of the T-shirt. Oh my god! Fuck the T-shirt! Yeah. I want to make just the staff. I want to like hire some, you know, like neckbeard guy in Etsy Prop to make artist, me that fucking yeah. yeah. <laughs> just hang it on your wall. Yeah. Yeah, like you have to some have sort the... of like Klingon. Exactly. The wicker basket that you mush it into. <laughs> Just that. <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay. Okay. So t-shirt, amazing. Wait a minute before I before I do the big reveal. Oh um, on, no! But is, yes. can I ask you a question? Go back to the oh. previous page. Is Dark Angel? Uh, was that ever printed? I think it was. I mean, Cosmic Stellar Rebellers. Mm-hmm. Um, to me is. Kind of snooze. I I don't like the yeah. anthropomorphic power comics. Um, right, I agree. I, the stuff that's kind of a take on. I don't like animal teenage stuff. mutant ninja turtles. Kind of a right. ripoff. That sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah and and I, I have seen these. It's just kind of mm-hmm. in a similar vein of the. So I guess it's, now's the time to bring it up. But Lance Stanton did uh, have um, subsequent or had had issues. It, it actually mm-hmm. went on, I think, to issue five. Do you have any issues over there, uh, Ben? Of no. the, uh, Lance Stanton two and three, and you don't. Oh no! I mean, I've got I've got these the Wayward Warrior. Oh, yeah. that th- that's what it was. That that's what yeah. it was. Oh, really? The that's what it was. Yeah. That's the continuation. Yeah. Uh, oh really? I, I didn't know I, that. I don't think it's like the continuation of this story, but I think the character lived on and as Wayward mm-hmm. Warrior. Pretty but, yeah, it's it's weird. It's pretty meta because like this guy's holding up the Lance Stanton. Wow, comic book. Oh, that's amazing. I love yeah. that. Wow. But yeah, so anyway, <clears throat> um, yeah. But yeah. Anyway, I mean, check out that back. K- Kendar and Lance are really the uh, oh. standouts of the line, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, this back cover, obviously amazing. I mean, I I love it. Looks like he's like in the Solaris ship or something. Um, yeah, it's like <clears> a <throat> greenhouse. <laughs> All right, you guys ready for some Lance Danton uh, background? Yeah. Oh my God! Yes. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I'm praying that you don't know this this factoid about uh, Lance Stanton Ben. Do you know who James McNaughton the Third is? You know what? It it rings a bell, and I googled his name because I was like, I I know that, I know that name. Okay, well, but hang I don't on to think, it. I, I haven't. I don't. I have a feeling you're going to tell me. You're going to reveal. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. So, uh, spoiler alert! I reached out to James. McNaughton the third and and actually spent some time with him on the phone last night holy cow <clears throat> and let me just tell you the circumstances of the phone call first because they were quite entertaining he lives in Maine it was nine degrees Fahrenheit Ben uh <laughs> yesterday um and uh he was freezing his ass off and he, his house ran out of oil so like for like for the heat so between trying oh, to get shit. the hammock the hammock backstory He's he's having getting in an argument with his wife and the oil guy while telling me the hammock story at the same time. So it was a very it was a it was a it was a very apropos circumstance for the backstory on hammock. I feel like, um, but it was it was a delight, and 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 he dropped this crazy bit of information on me, which is that what other notable comic figure, Ben, is from the state of Maine. Anyone? Do, 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 do. No? Okay. You want to know? No. Who, who, who is it? His childhood friend, who he went to middle school with and created comics together, 
that they did on mimeograph and stapled together and sold to their fellow students, none other than Kevin Eastman. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Wow, I didn't know Kevin Eastman was from Maine, but not, yeah. not I, know, I think I did know that. That's crazy. So James McNaughton III and Kevin Eastman were childhood friends that made comic books together, grew up together, were the best of friends. That's and insane. It is insane. I was like, what the fuck? And actually, if you go back, if you're a turtle's head, which I'm sure some of you are watching this, um, are, uh, you know, April I'm, O'Neil. I'm, I'm turtle heading right now, but go you're on. turtle heading. <laughs> oh, okay. What you're about to say, I think, is fuck what you. I came across on Google. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Which is April O'Neil was. <laughs> oh, fuck you, Gabe. Um, <laughs> <laughs> April O'Neil was named after uh, Kevin Eastman's, I think, girlfriend either at the time or at one point. And the only other character, someone will probably correct me, but one of the only other characters in the original Turtle series that was named after a real person was James McNaughton, who was the other reporter. Mm, um, right. And so um, that's the connection. But anyway, it's interesting because um, there, was a, there was a crossroads point, as I understand, in James's life uh, when um, you know Kevin was going to go off to pursue the comic thing, which he obviously did. And mm-hmm. it was like, hey, James, you going to come with, buddy? And then he was like, nah, man, I got to get married and have a kid, you know, or whatever. And so it didn't quite work out. But obviously, Kevin made, makes it huge, bigger than you possibly can in this business, you know. And then, um, but Kevin's still true to the crew. And so what he does is, is as as James, you know, his, his passion for comics didn't die out. And he was starting up Hammock. Uh, and Kevin said, hey, man, I'm going to hook you up with my distribution contact, uh, contacts. Whoa. So wow, Kevin, Kevin got Hammock distributed by Diamond, and I forget the other one, and um, and yeah, and and then he kind of painted this whole thing to me. And then the other bit of information he dropped on me is Kendar was uh, was done by um, his uncle. So wow. his uncle, his uncle drew story by James McNaughton, but the but the issue was actually the ish was drawn by his uncle. So it's a family wow. affair. And Love then, of that. course, what's the name of the artist you told me that did the other Wayward Warriors? Um, oh, Paul Pelletier. Paul Pelletier. He kept talking about Paul Pelletier and how he came in, you know, young and couldn't rub two nickels together. And James McNaughton kind of financed his, you know, on a, on a small, you know, whatever he could afford, but financed his early years and brought him up. So there's a whole backstory, and then he kind of told me this really crazy story about how a con man came in and destroyed Hammock, and you know, oh, no. the, the 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 usual power drama. Um, mm-hmm. But <clears throat> man, it was it's just I never would have thought that this right. world would be part of the history. Uh, I mean, Kevin, if it weren't for Kevin Eastman, a lot of these comics probably wouldn't have been attempted. You know, people wouldn't Amazing. have thought I could do this too. So the fact that it's actually related to. Um, you know, the turtles is just, is wild. Yeah. So anyway, that was my that's little. Huge. That's huge. That's amazing. That's so cool. <clears throat> yeah. So, um, I and hopefully you just like get on the phone with these guys, you know, <laughs> so great. you got, you got to go direct to the store. He's like, call me. And then I was like, okay, I'll call you. And then like his heat was out and he's yelling at this <laughs> oh, guy man. and his wife's like giving him a hard time. And he's like, you know, yeah, I love that. You also introduced me as the, the official power comics researcher and you're calling everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, you put your hours in. Um, hey, but um, yeah. So it, 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 hopefully we can convince him to come on the show. He's a little gunshot oh, man. about coming on the show. I think, but I think you know to get the full hammock story, uh, I think would be great. So yeah, I want to know everything there is to know. Absolutely. We're that. If he doesn't absolutely uh, get too embarrassed by our uh, scrambled eggs comparisons from today, but anyway, uh, that's it for us guys. Unless you have any final thoughts you want to share on. Uh, on old Lance here. I mean, it's one of the best. Yeah, go on, Ben. It's one of the best. It's great. The art is great. The, re- the the inking is fantastic in it. It's just a pleasure to look at and read multiple times. It really is. It's truly. Yeah, it's it's one such of a, a kind. treat. It's like, it's it's hypnotic. It's so inspiring. It's so inspired. It's really just unbelievable. I need I need more of this in my life wherever i can get it (laughs) it's so good it's so good and tune in soon as we are going to dig into kendar which is a whole nother barrel of funyuns and uh power uncle power uncle the power uncle of lance stanton (laughs) um and uh and then of course like i said if you haven't subscribed already uh please come on 
we got to do this live and we need you in order to do it live subscribe uh we just need 500 subs it's like so that's nothing uh so please do it and uh catch us next time and uh on the power comics book club and uh that's it guys i'm out of here so see you later bye everybody. See you guys. Thanks, everybody